We're just two guys with one mission, and we've chosen to accept it for some reason. It's time to tell them what we mean, what we say. How's it going? Good. Better than us, probably. We just watched Faces of Death. Yeah. Which was a first watch for me. Second watch for me. Yeah. Uh, I guess... Okay, Faces of Death is a documentary, or like a semi-faked documentary, (laughs) about death. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. It should be facets of death as opposed to faces of death, <laughs> yeah. I guess. It just goes it basically just goes through one by one the uh, many different ways you could die in nineteen seventy nine. Eight. Eight. Sorry. It's like so uh, there's no terrorism at that point. No, it's like but it's just it's just uh, <laughs> no different AIDS. kinds of death. It's um And it goes through animals first. Animals, then the jungle, then how Man, who's I wonder who the real cannibals are, yeah. uh, and then uh, different kinds of uh, ways you can die in America, and then it has like some footage of a guy talking about how he's haunted by his by his wife, and then it just kind of ends and uh, um, it's utterly pointless. It's kind of utterly pointless and joyless. Unbelievably joyless. It is uh, a no, slog. I don't say it's like yeah. It's it was um, a fucking slog to get through. It's just it doesn't give you any information, really. It's just kind of, and here's another thing. Yeah, and here's what plane crashes are like. They're bad, by the way. Yeah, plane Sp- crashes bad. That's Sp- spoiler alert. Uh, I did like the concept. I did like the idea when he posited the question whether plane crashes were worse than the Holocaust. Yeah, I I disagree with his assertion. There. Yeah. The Holocaust uh, is pretty bad. Yeah. Robert. Uh, you may maybe you want to leave some comments, um, some ignorant <laughs> opinion in, in, in the comments. Like uh, maybe you want to maybe you want to prove how fucking stupid you are. Yeah. Um, in the comments. Do you think it happened? Tell us. Tell, Tell us, us in the comments below. Tell us in the comments, and I, I and smash that like button. <laughs> and smash, and smash my like button, and um, maybe you got some un- other uninformed opinions you want to talk about, like how the world is flat, and yeah. um because the thing is, we will respond. <laughs> will I, we? I will. <laughs> Steve will. I will. I have some uninformed opinions of my own I'd yeah. like to lay upon you. And uh, I've got... Um, i got stuff to do in my life, um, so you probably won't get a response from me. I might write and put your name. Oh, OK. Anyway, back to if the it's, If it sounds stultifyingly ill-informed... <laughs> it's probably don't you. Trust, <laughs> don't trust who it's signed by. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I mean, this was... I think we built it up... I, th- I definitely built it up. Like, when we were looking at the list of all the films we had to watch, mm. this was the one I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe yeah. we have to watch this. It wasn't as bad... No, the worst. The, f- the fake bits are very obviously fake. Yeah, the um, the crocodile, the monkey, and the bear. Although you didn't think so about the bear. Well, I didn't know. Right. I mean, I like bears. I like looking at bears. Oh, I reckon. Right, I reckon if there'd been the whole documentary about bears eating people, I think I would have liked this movie a lot more. Um, yeah. Why don't they have faces of bears? And I'm not talking about some sort of a well, uh, bears of death. <laughs> but oh, well, I'm not sort of talking about like some um, uh, gay porno. No. But, you know what? Fuck it. I'd watch that too. I bet that'd be a really good movie. Yeah, probably. It's just bad guys and they eat each other. They eat each other's asses. Yeah. They're bears. Nice. I really don't know what to say about this film. Well... Because it's just... What is there to say about it? It's a documentary. It shows some stuff. I, I don't... I don't really understand why it was banned, given that it's a documentary. It's not sensational. No, it's very matter-of-fact. It's just very matter-of-fact and just 
like I said, joyless. Honestly, I think if it wasn't banned, people would not like. I think it's considered a, a cult film now. Yeah. But I think it's only considered cult because it was banned. Yeah, without it being banned, it would have just been a documentary that would have yeah, been just for decades. Like, I mean, we were talking about the think, killing of I think, America. I think killing of America is way worse yeah. than this. Killing of America, I what well, killing of America killing, is shocking. Yeah. I uh, uh, I think it's a way more interesting film, but I guess it maybe it wouldn't exist without this film. Possibly. So maybe we have. Possibly. I mean, this and this also comes before essentially the the most tumultuous period in America's history, where that makes Killing of America possible. Uh, yeah, the eighties. Yeah. Do you know how like all these uh, kids these days they like uh, they like all this eighties stuff? All the retro they go, stuff. They like all this eighties, like oh, that's so eighties. Oh, Stranger Things, that's so eighties. Yeah. Oh, Synthwave, it's so eighties. Yeah. But in the eighties, uh, random, uh, random. It was really, it really wasn't life. great for everyone. I think this is something that you <laughs> need to consider when you look back upon a decade you weren't uh, involved in. But I guess it's okay if you like the music. Just don't. The fashions. Yeah, I guess that's fine. But have some understanding of where, of, of what the situation was like. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this. This is a really depressing movie. I mean, this episode is about as joyless as that documentary. Yeah. Episode, which which is kind of appropriate. Yeah. I mean, um, I thought it was going to be way worse. Yeah. I d- it wasn't as bad as I I did. remembered it being worse, and I'm wondering if I've seen some other version... Because there was some stuff that I think I remember seeing in this that wasn't in there. I mean, there's like six of these movies. Although yeah. apparently there's only four of them I mean, maybe with watched, maybe original I've... footage, and the other three are basically edits of right. the the first four movies. Uh, okay. So um, there's a f- but there's yeah. bits of this that I do remember seeing, like the monkey scene. I definitely remember seeing. Yeah, that, that was very, very, very vivid in my head. Don't remember it looking quite so fake as it clearly was. But there was other stuff that I'm I'm sure in my head. Maybe I'm just conflating it with something else that I've seen. And I'm pretty sure it was like one of the Mick days or something like that where I'd seen something else that I might be conflating with this. And also I think bits of Killing of America. But this was this was nothing. This was just a really boring documentary about different ways you can die. Yeah. And how animals kill each other. I think scoring this is going to be hard. Because I think there needs to be some sort... Of, but like we can't adjust our... Because it's not a movie. We can't adjust our rating system. No. So I guess we'll just see what happens when yeah. we t- score it up and we'll, we'll, we'll... This might be the most interesting bit of the entire conversation. Yeah. i tell you what's going to be more... But i tell you what... Yeah, well... i tell you what's interesting. <laughs> Where were you going with that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what's interesting. Go on, then. Anything else... Yeah, anything but this movie. Okay, what would you give it for story, Steve? There wasn't a story. Yeah, I'm giving it a zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. Okay, but what would you give it for gore, Steve? Well, I mean, it was real. So. Well, some of it was real. Yeah. It's also I super mean, gory. Th- yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, things it's like probably the, one of the goriest things. Things like autopsies seen. and stuff like that um, is pure. And like the plane crash at the end, that was pretty. Yeah. Even just one of the last images is the severed torso. I mean, I think, I think I'm going to have to give it a five. five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's not a problem with this, but our rating system. Yeah. Because... It, I mean, you have to. It's real, and there was fucking tons of it. So yeah. It's the greatest gore film... Well, one of the greatest gore films you'll ever see. Purely on a gore level, because a lot of it is genuinely, genuinely real. Yeah. And there's fucking tons of it. What would you go for the overall creativity of the, the the thing? It's a documentary, so not a lot. Now you see, I might disagree with. Well, I say, uh, well, I think by not a lot, I think straight down the middle because it is what it. It's as creative as the premise is. It's different facets of death. But I think nothing had covered that. I guess at that point, probably. I mean, it's pretty clear now that they faked a lot of the footage. Yes. So I think I remember from some documentary years ago that what the director would do would he would buy the news footage mm. of like the the woman leaping from the building. Yes. And then and then embellish the after. And then film scenes shots. around yeah, yeah. to make it like more complete. Yeah. And I gotta argue, that's pretty creative. In I terms suppose. of making making yeah. a new, making a film. Yeah. Like Certainly, there's that whole section where he's talking about the uh, the crazy dream he has about being buried alive or whatever. 
I wasn't really paying attention. I'm saying, like, if you going to... Like, he could have just taken the the gore footage mm. and then... And then just Here's had a mogul. Here's a mogul. Yeah. Here's a mogul. But he, yeah. he didn't. He basically went I suppose he starts to... with the Animal Kingdom. Well, actually starts with fucking dogfighting for some bizarre reason. And then gets into how animals naturally attack each other and then how humans... Da, 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 so I guess... No, but it's, I'm saying, I'm not those, I would say, are not the creative parts. Those are just the bits where you basically take in, like, nature slash mondo footage. All right. What I'm saying is when it gets creative is when you're creating the situation. Like, the, we understand that the entire electric chair sequence mm. is, is faked. Yeah. I suppose that did go to some lens to fake that. Yes. Like, I'm saying that there's a... So okay. What's that line from JFK? The best place to hide a... Uh, a lie is between two truths mm. or is it the other way around well the best place to hide the truth is between two lies I can't remember it okay. leave it in the comments maybe you got an opinion about that yeah who do you think killed JFK uh, the answer may surprise you so three I might actually have to bump it up I might have to give it a four All right. because I don't know like, this is, like, before the concept of, like, fake news. This is like This is... I don't know. No, this is, it doesn't predate mockumentaries. And it, and it came out before Cannibal Holocaust. Mm. Like, I'm saying that there was some creative... It wasn't, like, completely devoid of... Creativity. Creativity. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm saying three. You're saying three. Okay, I'm bumping up to four. So. I'm saying it's not the most creative thing in the world, but there was some creativity involved, so... They, now they cancel each other out and average three. Here we're saying, what for logical sense? Now, by that, do you mean <laughs> the sense of even making this in the first place? Yeah, or I don't know, because <laughs> it's not educational. No, it's just it's just I've got a bunch of horrible footage. I want to do something with it. I'll film some extra bits around it to be a bit creative. What's that bit in Jurassic Park when he says, oh, you spent so much time wondering whether you, you could, could, you never you thought about whether you should? Yeah. And that's... I that feel that, like that sums up this that, That's movie. completely sum up this movie, yeah. What is the point of it? I guess there's a thread. So I have to give it one point for just getting from A to B. Yeah. But it stays... But it gets to B pretty early on and then it just stays there. Well, it gets to be straight away. It's just like, right, here's, no, 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 here's the like, premise. No, it's because it's like going, okay, this is like... Uh, it started off with the dogs fighting, right? Yes. And then it goes to, like, the snakes eating people. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to the tribes people... Crocodiles. ...hunting the monkey. Mm -hmm. And then and then it goes to... And then man-eating monkey. And then it goes to animal... An, it goes man versus animal, then animal versus man. And then it goes modern day horror that's like that's the thread it's yeah. like a very short little narrative yeah is that but even then, a narrative then well it is it's like it's going through something to get to to you know make you think I guess what I'm saying is that it gets one I, I'm gonna give it one point for that alright but the rest of it why am I watching it yeah what is the point is it just to make money do I secretly no, not even a secret. Do I genuinely hate myself for watching this? I'll go with you one. Yeah. Um, I just don't see the fucking point in this. No, at all. there is no point. I don't think no. it's. And the music. Uh, inappropriate as fuck. Largely inappropriate. There were moments where it wasn't inappropriate, but I also wonder how much of it was like library music and how much was. Oh, what you mean on the footage that he bought in the first place? Uh, no, or... just like when they were editing it, whether they just used oh, right. library music or they because they, it said music by. Yeah. And it had a music by credit at the beginning, so. But then every now and now and again you get like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just like, like what the fuck is going on here? Like a tragedy is occurring to my eyes, and yet yeah. a and yet, simple happy melody is happening to my ears. Yeah, it was like wildly inappropriate. I'd say I'm going to go one, purely because there was some in there. I'm going to give two because it's not as if it was... <clears throat> there were some where it worked well, but majority of the time it right. didn't. It's not like how it's going to be in Last House on the Left, where it's just like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm going to have something to say about the music in Last House on the Left. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 
is 21 out of 50. Okay. I mean, that's purely because the scoring system's a little fucked up because of the goal thing. Yes. It would be way lower if there was some other way of doing this. Yeah, but, we it, but, it, but it has to be that because yeah, because this is the score. This is the yeah. scoring system we're yeah. going on. Uh, but, that's, but that score is that we invented. not representative of the enjoyment. Well, this is the next. But this is the next question. It's like Steve, would you recommend this movie? No, I absolutely wouldn't. There's there's nothing that would make me recommend this to anybody. No, I wouldn't recommend other it. than like a teenage. The same way that it was introduced to me, which is just like. You're into, like, fucking metal and fucking horror movies and shit. Like, you should see this, Face of the Death. Well, I wouldn't recommend but, it. But this is back in the day when it wasn't widely available like it is now. Yeah, I and mean... And it was the cult classic that it was at the time. I mean, this is... And it was like, oh, my God, I can't see Faces of Death. I'm so excited. But, yeah, this is, like, pre... I mean, like, when you saw it, this was pre-Rotten.com. Yes. This was pre Star Very Project. much so. This was, like... Very much so. Like, this was pre goatsy Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, like... Very uh, much so. Yeah, the the most horror you ever saw was a fucking horror film. You didn't see this shit anywhere. Yeah. So it was like, oh my god, I get to see this thing, and this, you know, it's been built up so much and so much and so much. And when I saw it, it was quite affecting because I was quite young and I didn't yeah. really know any better. Looking at it now, it's just like, I, in any good conscience, it's just like even even to that teenage me, if that teenage me was now, I wouldn't recommend this. I was a bit fucked up as a kid, and it's just like, yeah, I'm fucking super into this kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. It's boring and it's a slog, and you can see way worse shit these days uh, anywhere on the internet. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. I thought it was was stupid. Unless you're a murderer, then maybe you'd like it. But again, there's way better things you can. But watch if, on yeah, the if you're going to be a murderer, then you could see you can see, you can see all the you can see the real death footage without all the fake stuff. Yeah, watch Killing of America. Yeah, watch Killing of America is much better. Eh? So anyone who's planning on becoming a murderer... Or anybody who's we, planning on watching Faces of Death. Yeah, just I would like, say oh, just oh, watch Killing oh, of America never, yeah. Watch Killing of America. It's, uh, in the it's same style a better as, film. Yeah, in the same style of the kind of documentary showing the, the horrors of man. Killing of America is just far more interesting. It's far better paced. There isn't... ...type music interludes into it. I mean, it's fucking hard. Did I have it on the same tape as that Gigi Allen documentary? I believe you did. Ah. Fucking fun night that in. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Both of which I have on my computer right now. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, if you want to get some friends together and, like... uh, (coughs) Have a really horrible night. Where you hate people. You want to watch The Killing of America and the Gigi Allen documentary back to back. Yeah. And then... um, Kill yourself. We probably won't kill yourself, but you might... You might want to. You might might want to, (laughs) And you will get to the end of the Gigi Allen documentary going like, you know, much as I respect human life and everybody has a right to live, it's probably good that that guy's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Possibly one of the only humans you can say that about. Him and Hitler. Not most of the Nazis, I guess. Um, I think there's... I think that list would end up being pretty long. Like, yeah. I think Gigi Allen's quite high up on it, though. <laughs> Do you, He's horrible, okay, come on, he. Yeah, but was he as horrible as, like, Ian Brady? Like, Ian Brady's dead, and it's a definitely a good thing. Yeah. Like, but he should have been But Gigi Allen didn't write half a good book. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. Thank you. Is it a good book? Half of it is. Half of it's his, interesting. His reviews of other serial killers is really yeah. interesting. His, his, his review of himself is utter bollocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not that anybody can ever get this book yeah. ever again anyway. Uh, I think you can. I think you can, can you? still get it. Like right. The Gates I, of Janus. Um, I thought it was really, really hard to get. Um, probably. But yeah. I don't think it's, like, impossible to get. Mm. Yeah, The Gates of Jan- um for you, for you kids who are too young, Ian Brady was a child murderer from the north of England. And... Uh, when he was in prison, he wrote a book where he would analyse the behaviour of other serial killers. But the first half of the book is him just, like, going... It was just him talking about himself, about how amazing he is. Yeah. It would be, it'd be funny if he wasn't such a monster. Yeah. But the second half is genuinely interesting, and um, I'm sure if you did... If, you were like, if you're into true crime, then it's totally worth, worth seeking out. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. But Faces of Death is not. It's a piece of shit. No, it's fuck, a piece of shit. Fuck everyone involved. Fuck that movie. And uh, starting with the fucking dog fighting was just fucking. That just set me on edge straight away. I'm not into that. No, I'm not into it either. 
Right. Fuck, right. fuck this movie. Yeah. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Bye.